my brothers and sisters in Christ, in our anxious and get it now world that we live in, many have a tendency to abandon the resting place that God has established for them. Each and every one of us has a resting place, a true resting place, and that is placing our faith and our trust in our Heavenly Father. It's not getting away to the spa, getting away on a vacation or massages or uh, alcohol or drugs or sex. Beloved in Christ, our resting place is found in Christ. The Word of God establishes that fact of how one can leave their resting place. And God spoke to Jeremiah to speak to the people and to speak to those who held his children in bondage. The Word of God says in Jeremiah, I believe it's 50, 50 and uh, 6. My people had been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Because they're not preaching and teaching the word to them. they picking up the activity of man and believing that somehow man has the answer. In other words, the church has been politicized. And beloved, it should not. For the word says, they have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Beloved in Christ, the desire of a pastor, of a minister, of an evangelist, a prophetic teacher, ought to be teaching the children of God how to sustain and maintain their life in God's resting place. But so many are filled with anxiety and angst, believing that God is either too slow and not acting appropriately in their behalf, so they began to put their trust in man. Beloved, you will never find your resting place in man. Your resting place is in the Lord and the Lord alone. And when you get filled with anxiety, beloved, begin to pray, begin to seek, begin to fast, and God will answer that anxious moment that you are having and experiencing in your life right now. Beloved, trust Him and trust Him alone. Beloved in Christ, may the Father open your heart to His understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.